shouldn't have told you to shut up. I'm sorry. And what does the human body do when it decomposes? It breaks down, produces gas. True. Just like your driver and his coach. Stop it. I have the world entirely wrong. I hoped that I was a force for good. Oh, you were. world is a realm of spectres, jack-o'-lanterns. <laughs> have I wasted my brief span here, Doctor? Please, miss, you shouldn't be helping. It's not right. How much do you get paid? All right, so nosy. I know. I would have been happy with six. Did you even go to school or what? Of course I did. What do you think I am, an urchin? A what? Nice and proper. What, once a week? To be honest, I hated every second. Hmm. Don't tell anyone. I didn't go on a run down the heath all on my own. <laughs> I have plenty of the heath to go and look at boys. <laughs> <laughs> I bet you've done the same. I don't think so, miss. I bet you got your eye on someone. There is one lad. Who? Good smile. Nice bum. Yes, Rose. You've got all the claws and the breeding, but you talk like some sort of wild thing. Wild thing? Maybe I am. You need a bit more in your life than Mr. Sneed. Oh, no, that's not fair. He was very kind to me to take me in. Oh. But I'll be with him again one day. Sitting with them in paradise. Maybe your dad's up there waiting for you too, miss. Who told you he was dead? She could like read your thoughts or something, this lady. You've been thinking about him lately more than ever? Mr. Sneed says I think too much. No, <laughs> no servants where I'm from. And you've come such a long way. Mm. I've seen London in drawings, but never like that. And the noise and the metal boxes racing past. Uh-oh. The things you've seen. The darkness. The big bad wolf. <laughs> oh. My mum said I had the sight. She told me to hide it. But it's getting stronger. Uh-oh. Voices in my head. This is you crazy. on top of the rift. I've tried to make sense of it, sir. The key. Consulted with. We're going to have a seance. Ah, seance, seance. You must all join hands. I can't take part in this. Why, Come Charles? Come on. This Good is, man. This is bad. Now, Gwyneth. Reach out. Okay, Gwyneth. Are you there? Spirits. Are you there, spirits? Speak to us that we may relieve your burden. Oh, they're coming. This is sheer folly. Look at <laughs> I see them. Ooh, child, that's like a lot. Gwyneth, it's not controlling you. You're controlling it. Now look deep. You could do it, girl. Yes. Oh. Ooh. Spirits from the other side. Pity the girls. There is so little time to help us. Last of our kind, we face extinction. Oh. Why? What happened? Then the war came. The war. His war. This is not a smaller species, but devastated to higher forms. we trapped in this gaseous state. Oh, wow. We need a physical form, and your dead are abandoned. They go to waste. Give them to us. But we can't. Because those are people. Could save their lives. Open the rift. We're dying. Help us. The rift. So that's something we have to learn about the rift. Also, this war we've heard now in three episodes. They came, didn't they? They need me. They do need you, Gwyneth. Exhausted, and she's not fighting your battles. Mm. What are they? Aliens. Like foreigners, you mean? Huh. Only a few can get through. Even then, they're weak. They can only test drive the bodies for so long. Then they have to revert to gas and hide in the pipe. Mm. You can't let them run around inside the dead people. Why not? It's like recycling. Those bodies were living people. We should respect them, even in death. It is different, yeah. It's a different morality. Get used to it or go home. Oh. Can't worry about a few corpses when the last of the Gelf could be dying. I don't care. They're not using it. Right. Because that's very clear inside your head that you think I'm stupid. <laughs> it might be very different where you're from. But here and now, I know my own mind. Right. And the angels need me. Aww. They've been singing to me since I was a child, sent by my mom on a holy mission. This house is on a weak spot, so there must be a spot that's weaker than any other. This would be the morgue. Oh, I would not be able to be here. I know for a fact that corpses weren't walking around in 1869. Your cozy little world can be rewritten like that. Mm. Can you come to help? Yes. Please, so little time. Pity the girl. This isn't a permanent solution, all right? My angels. Aww. Here, beneath the arch. Beneath the arch. 
My angels, establish the bridge, oh. reach out to the void. Come to this world, poor lost souls. Oh. Bridge is open. We descend. Oh. You said that you were few in number. She's evil. Stop this. Listen to your master. Think of you. Mrs. Lingerman! Oh no! Oh. oh god, I think it's gone a little bit wrong. Oh my god. No, Not child! Make the vessels for the girl! Oh. Oh, while I'm alive. Ooh! Charles, run! He's like, I'm out of here. Uh, be careful. It's impossible for me to die. Oh, you're gonna die. I'm sorry. <laughs> you can be born in the 20th century and die in the 19th, and it's all my fault. The doctor didn't tell all the information, girl. About me, I saw the fall of Troy, World War Five. You'll become one of them. And you'll be able to walk around forever. Love it. We'll go down fighting, yeah? Yeah. Oh, I like them together. I'm so glad I met you. Oh. Me too. Doctor, doctor. Turn off the flame. Turn up the gas. Now. What are you doing? Turn it all on. What? These creatures are gaseous. Fill the room with gas. It'll draw them out of the host. Oh, my gosh. Oh, Lord. I hope that this theory will be validated. Fancy more! Oh, even that guy's dead now. Put it! Stand them back! They're alive! They're not angels! If your mother and father could look down and see this, they'd tell you the same. Send them back! Remember that world you saw? Rose's world, all those people, none of it will exist. I can't send them back. Send them back. What? Hold them in this place. Hold them here. You can't! Oh. Leave this place! Rose, get out! Go now! I won't! Leave that to me. Do that to me. Oh, it's gonna block the whole house. I'm sorry. Oh, that's so sad. Oh, it's just a guy. Ooh, child. At least Charles Dickens is alive. <laughs> the poor child. I did try, Rose, but Gwyneth was already dead. She had been for at least five minutes. What do you mean? I think she was dead from the minute she stood in that arch. <clears throat> there are more things in heaven and earth dreamt of in your philosophy. Even for you, doctor. Right, doctor. A servant girl. No. I will never know. A servant girl. Save the world in 1869. Charlie boy, I've just got to go into my um, shed. I shall take the mail coach back to London. Quite literally, post haste. Hmm. <laughs> with my family and right. make amends to them. I'm inspired, I must write about them. Do you think that's wise? Perhaps the killer was not the boy's uncle. Huh? Was not of this earth. Oh, I like that story. <laughs> I can spread the word, tell the truth. Good luck with it. I in what way is this goodbye? Where are you going? You'll see, in the shed. <laughs> but you have such knowledge of future times, but I must ask you, my books, do they last? Yes. Oh, yes. We, I know who you are now. <laughs> Took me the whole show. In the back, both of you. Down boy. In a week's time, it's 1870, and that's the year he dies. Sorry. Oh. And he's more alive now than he's ever been, old Charlie boy. Oh. He dies in one week? Sheesh. <laughs> Well, well, so this episode brought us to the undead coming to a lot, coming back to life from gas or something like that. So in the beginning, I, I could have swore, sorry guys, my radiator is coming on. In the beginning, I could have swore that we're gonna have vampires because the, the way the coffin was shaped and the purple was inside, then all of a sudden she came back alive. I was like, oh my God, we're gonna have vampires. But zombies are 
also good. I love some zombies. The whole storyline was really good. I'm starting to get more invested in learning about the doctor, learning about Rose, and seeing their friendship or whatever is happening blossom. It's really cool to see that they're going into different... I honestly wish I could do that. Just go in different times, the future, the past, and just see what's going on, what happened, and what are the possibilities of life. Um, but yes, we're learning more about the doctor. He seemed to be warming up to Rose. And um, this episode like was really like very interesting. I loved, loved the whole zombie thing. And I'm so mad that I saw when we first were introduced to Charles Dickinson. Charles Dickens, Charles Dickinson? Um, somebody, somebody's typing right now. How did you not know what his name is? Um, I was reading the name on the wall. And I, I might have said it out loud. And I was like, Charles Dickinson, that sounds so familiar. And I'm so embarrassed now that it took me like, once he started talking about the books, I was like, oh yeah, that's who that is. Uh, so I guess I need to, t you know what it is? I'm trying to do everything early in the morning and my brain is still sleeping. This weekend was real. But overall, I give this episode a 9.5. Good job, good job, Dr. Who, good job. With that being said, guys, if you're watching this reaction, you realize you want to see more Doctor Who reactions, but you're not subscribed, hit the subscribe button. It's either here, 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 or here somewhere. Please like and share this content because it does wonders for this channel. Also, you can hit the notification bell and let you know when I drop all my new reactions. And I'll see you all next time on Andres El Rey.